Andrew Gwynne. Thank you, Mr Speaker, for granting this urgent question, and I welcome the Minister to the dispatch box. It's just a pity it's not his colleague, the Secretary of State. Because there have been deeply troubling reports for a number of months that this Council was failing in its duty to the people of Northamptonshire and to the public sector workers that provide the valuable services to local people. Because, as has been mentioned already, back in September, the Local Government Association conducted a financial peer review, and there were three key findings of that report. One, that time was running out for Northamptonshire County Council. Two, that the Council was heading towards a major financial problem. And three, that there was a sense that the scale of the financial challenge for the Council was just too great for it to overcome itself and that the Government would have to bail it out. Since then, we have had more reports that this Council was failing in its duty to the people of Northamptonshire and now residents will pay the price for their negligence. The failure of this Tory-run council is the result of a perfect storm of chronic underfunding and catastrophic Tory mismanagement. Yes. But when a government has taken £5.8 billion pounds out of local government finance, when everyone is saying that social care is on its knees, when children's services needs another £2 billion, pounds, this Secretary of State not only doesn't turn up to an urgent question, he sticks his head in the sand and fails to give local government the money it needs to provide safe, decent quality services. Yet again, it shows also that you just cannot push, push the cost of local government onto council taxpayers, because it just does not raise enough money locally. The Secretary of State knows that, the Minister knows that, the Treasury knows that, and the local government sector knows that. So when our Ministers going to stand up to the Chancellor and demand the money that local government needs. Because the local government chronicle are suggesting that there are already at least 10 other local authorities preparing to issue 114 notices. How this minister treats Northamptonshire will be looked on very closely by the sector. So what contingency arrangements has he got in place should other authorities fall over the cliff edge? What guarantees can he give today from the dispatch box that services in Northamptonshire and across the country will be protected by his department? And will he join with Sally Keeble, Gareth Eales and Beth Miller, Labour's candidates in Northamptonshire, in calling for commissioners to be appointed to fix this mess? Finally, Mr Speaker, last night on Twitter it was announced that the Secretary of State was in the process of politically fixing the financial mess he's made for his Tory backbench friends. Given that two years ago the transition grant scheme gave out an additional £3 million of funding, but 80% went to Conservative-controlled councils, 70% of them county councils, and by contrast metropolitan districts got an extra 2%, despite being the hardest hit. We'll be watching this minister and his department very carefully, because all councils are financially stretched and all councils deserve fairness. Yeah. 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 Yeah.